space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Okay, pilots, just a little quick video here. I wanted to show you what I had to do to get a Smart 5000 into my LX model pack file SU57. Uh, right in through here, I had to shave about three, maybe, well, probably about two millimeters off of each side. Each side's got just a little bit. You can see maybe just the edge of the corner of it right there. Because I set it in there long ways and just set it in there to get a CG. CG is supposed to be 45 millimeters off the leading edge here of the wing, which just happened to be, pilots, exactly where I put that support pin that goes in through here. Now, I'm a little tail heavy right on the line but maybe at, at 43 45 something like that it's it's dead on it, it, it and it just bounces right out and i'm thinking that the rc informer said his was about 45 and i asked dave tonight i don't think he seen me asking the question but i was asking him what, what his cg was that he used now smart battery Plugs fit in the, the uh, EC5. Right. And then you can see my light for marine burners back there. Okay, I got I got the vector and working. But like I say, I can't turn it on and off. See? But it's working. I got it hooked up to everything. I mean, uh, the LX model had everything worked up. I mean, there's my aileron. There's my elevator. Note the mix. And I got ready. Got any bad servos? Everything's working out good. My light burners are doing great. Got a good CG, but I've got to get everything. See how the battery is so far forward to get the CG. So I've got literally all that room right there, pilots, to put my receiver, my Eagle Gyro. But motion RCs out of Eagle Gyros, blue Eagle Gyros right now. So I'm having to wait on them to get some stock in. And I wanted to show you something else on my canopy that I had to do. If, if, if you'll note. All right. If you'll see right here. See how I've got my pilot is glued right here. First time I glued it, I glued it right on the top of the paint that was on the inside of the canopy. And I... When I put, just gave the pilot just a little tug, it pulled it right off. Okay, so I took me some sandpaper and I roughed it up on the inside. Now I got this thing cut. If you'll see the cuts right here, it's cut and it's pushed up because I had to take the pilot back out, cut him even thinner down here. I mean, I got if you can see that, I've got it cut into his arms and everything. I've cut his arms on, on both sides here. I've cut into his arms. I'm just moving it around so you might can get a view of what it is. But I'm 
Oh, I can't see. There's my fingertip. There's my fingertip right there on the inside. Guess how far up that thing's pushing. Okay, so his head's hitting the top of the canopy already. I mean, you know, but that right there, that spot right there is right where the leads for the battery right here. You know how it makes the big hump right for the leads. So I'd do that. And plus, even even after I'd done that, I had to re-drill a new hole in the front of the canopy there for the pin to go in. And my canopy sets up about, I don't know, three, three, four millimeters higher than what it usually is. There it is right there. Note, note the dis distance here. I mean, that's that's best I could do. Best I could do. Now, but that's my pack file. Dave, give me a CG, man. I want to give Dana's RC a shout out, man. He's been watching my videos on the pack file. He likes some Russian jets. I might do a lineup video on all my Russian fighters, Dana. But I'm out.